Are there any relationships in your life that need some attention? Is somebody rubbing you the wrong way? When I was in college, I played ultimate Frisbee every week. Every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. or Thursday night at 10 p.m., you could find me on the intramural fields with 15 to 20 other men and women playing ultimate Frisbee. And there was a guy, no matter what I did, that would never look at me, he wouldn't talk to me, he would not even pass the Frisbee to me, and I was on the same team. Week after week after week, it bothered me so much until finally I ran up to him and I said, what's your problem? What have I done to you? The answer, nothing. He just didn't like me. Peter writes in 1 Peter 4, 8, above all, keep loving one another earnestly since love covers a multitude of sins. I tried to reason with this guy. I tried to convince him that I was a great guy to be around. I tried to have a conversation with him, but his mind was settled. Nothing I could say would help. So what did I do? I let him not like me. I, I continued to show kindness to him. I continued to throw the Frisbee to him, even pick him to be on my team. And I continued to pray that God would help us in our relationship. Guess what? Roughly 25 years later, the guy still doesn't like me and I'm okay with that. And as I have opportunity to show him love, I do. We've connected a couple times online, but that's it. So what's my advice for you in regard to the people who mistreat you or say bad things about you or ignore you or won't pass the Frisbee to you? Maybe the people that just don't like you. My advice, love them anyway, because love covers a multitude of sins. If today's word for the day has blessed you, apply it, like it, or leave a comment. God bless.